Hello, everybody, and welcome to Be to Believe New York. So for many of you, this will be your first Be to Believe. And for some of you, uh, we're welcoming you back. So in either event, it's truly a privilege to be welcoming you here. So I'm Jim Habig, VP of Marketing here at LinkedIn. But today, I'd like to introduce you to an ancestor of mine. Prince Lorenzo de Habig de' Medici. I think you could see the resemblance, right? Uh, when I looked in the old uh, family archives uh, for a couple of pictures of, of old Lorenzo, uh, I found a couple that I liked, but this just happened to be the one that I liked the most. So let me tell you a little bit about him. So Lorenzo de' Medici, who hailed from Florence, was pro probably the most celebrated member of the Medici dynasty that reshaped Italy during the Renaissance. Lorenzo was often described as Lorenzo the Magnificent, in much the same way that my directs call me Jim the Magnificent, at least during our Leeds meetings. Um, the Medici invested in artists and scientists and thinkers and fostered an ecosystem of innovation and creativity. They embraced and funded the development of new techniques and new tools, and they created new forums for engagement with art and built spectacular new platforms for creativity to be appreciated. I bring them up because lately I've had Renaissance on the brain, because it strikes me that we might be in the early days of our own Renaissance in B2B, because this moment bears many of the same hallmarks. Every Renaissance has a set of technological breakthroughs that drive the progress. For the Florentine Renaissance, in which my, okay, hypothetical ancestor operated, it was forced perspective in art and architecture, it was vernacular poetry and literature, and a general movement towards more humanistic modes of expression. These techniques gave artists license to communicate with people as people. Does this sound a little familiar to us? And in this current moment, we are evolving the way that we in B2B communicate and connect as well. AI is turning our world upside down. A new privacy landscape changes every rule of engagement. Our customers have evolving demands. They don't want the same old white papers from the same old vendors. And on top of it, we're in the midst of our own Copernican revolution in B2B. Not to make a hash of my historical references, it sort of checks out, it's proximate. You can look it up on Wikipedia later. Because the center of our universe is not individual groups, or individual people rather, as it is in B2C, but groups of people. Buying groups order our world, but until now, we haven't had a good way of meeting and pers persuading them in concert. We've been forced to make do with tools from another age. And because of this rapidly shifting landscape, this becomes our most critical challenge to figure out. But we've got some new capabilities we're gonna share in a little bit that we believe are gonna help you here. And it's making us get smarter about how we build and deliver audiences for the sake of your business. Similarly, every renaissance has its luminaries. Those Leading thinkers, the titans showing the way to a brighter future. Last year, Brand Finance released the list of top B2B brands that grabbed us by the lapels and alerted us to the opportunity ahead of us. Well, they have a new list for this year, and we're honored to share it at the end of the day today. But to properly kick things off, back to my dear, dear ancestor Lorenzo. During the Florentine Renaissance, the Medici family were instrumental in bringing the right people together in one place and facilitating an exchange of ideas. Like the Medici, we want to bring the best minds in B2B together to spark new ideas. We want to equip you with the tools you need to succeed. We're your patrons. We want to see you thrive. Your success is our success. I'm really excited you're all here. <laughs> 